Yeah, so this is this is an object, and that's actually this is an analysis video. What we did was um, we went we we're going frame by frame, and we zoomed in on it uh, to get a better look at what you know what we were looking at uh, with this object. Now you'll see it's got the same kaleidoscope effect out there, um, and when, of course we were accused by you know some debunkers that this is nothing more than an airplane, and uh, well, let's and just so say on. the name Mick Mick West. Uh, Miss McWest claimed it was an airplane. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's on an airplane. And it, it, it says we. Well, I actually looked at this with a pair of binoculars. The, it, the mass is too compact. There's no anti-collision beacons going, uh, 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 which would, would be very obvious. Right. There's, and and the there's cloud, so many. There's so many data points that you know. Yeah. And McWest didn't say <laughs> the cloud base. Uh, the cloud base uh, ceiling. The cloud base height, I should say, was uh, roughly about two thousand feet that night. So. You know, an aircraft that was at that altitude, I mean, would have been very easy to see. And yep. uh, we would have tracked it on our radar as well. Um, this was not the case. Um, this is an object that was just below that cloud layer. Uh, it was polyhedral in shape. It it was rotating. And as it was rotating, you saw this kaleidoscope of mm -hmm. color. Um, in some cases, there was some kind of a luminous side to it, uh, one of the sides. And as it rotates 180 degrees around, it goes dark. You don't see it. You know, it's only this uh, either it's a luminous or reflective characteristic of the of the object. But it is bending light in such a way that it's producing this kaleidoscope of color. And um, what's interesting about this object, too, is that there was another object that was was basically um, moving vertically uh, toward the ground, was moving through the cloud layers. And, you know, you'll see it eventually. But uh, let me see if I can speed this up just a little bit, you know, so you'll see it goes from a, a luminous state and then it's back to a more of a polyhedral shape as it's rotating. And then just above it, you'll see that there's other form of light. And um, this is not, I, I, I can tell you right now that this is not um, the, uh, the, the, the lamps from the, the, the high energy lamps from an aircraft on the cloud layers, you know, that's, that's that was, not, that was, just, that was a suggestion also by, I think by people like Mick West and all that, uh, that this could be the uh, forward looking lighting of the aircraft lighting up a cloud. We would see the forward lights. They're at 600 watt lights. They're very bright lights. They would easily show up on the infrared. Right. And, and then you'll see that this thing, as it's moving down, you'll see it takes shape and it, it, you know, it, it, it's roughly the same size as, as the object that, that you see on your left here, the lower left. Um, and then you'll see that they, they're, as they're rotating, they're rotating with different colors. They're uh, as one is rotating away, it's red. The other one's rotating towards us. It's blue. You'll see this change. Eventually as they get close, you see what, what looks like their synchronized rotation and the colors seem to align. They seem to synchronize, but almost to a point where these two objects come together and uh, form some kind of cohesion. The other thing is this, this. The other thing is this light. It it looks like an object that's behind the clouds or within the clouds. It's the light is compact, so it's the the cloud the cloud layer is actually trapping the light. Or yeah, it's or almost like a like a, a movie screen. Uh, you know, it's 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 casting a, a it's lighted it's it's lighting the insides of the clouds at that point. Yeah, I was going to say further that if this was the outside lighting of an aircraft lighting up a cloud from the outside, that light would be dispersed along the outside of the cloud. It would be far it would be wider. Yeah, yeah, you'd see the length of the beams. Yeah. Do you think these want to be seen? Obviously, some of them don't have lights, and and as you say, can dark. only be shot with certain cameras. But but something that is flashing, uh, do you do you think they're trying to get attention? They appear to be at times that seem to uh, want to be want to be seen or be obvious. Right. Other, time, um, uh, other they, times, other yeah, times, no. Other times that they just basically maybe want to stay in the shadows they, they don't want to be observed you know yeah most of the time when we track these objects they were they would remain in the uh, in the infrared spectrum occasionally being invisible but mostly in the infrared so that, that would tell us it's something that didn't want to be seen right i know if you guys can see this full screen uh, we can yeah. see yeah the entire yeah. screen yeah okay all right so yeah now you'll see that they start to synchronize the colors are roughly the same and you can see there's two distinct shapes in there. Very distinct shapes. To see one as it's fading, one's growing. 
now you see the blue and the and the, you know, the red on one side rotating in two different directions and of course frame by frame you can see that and then this seems to be a pattern around the object itself which is uh which is not just you know the uh compression schemes of the camera this 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 camera um for the most part it's uh you know there's there's very little compression i think it's uh, i think it's a, a three to three to two the other thing is when they they cohese these two objects is when we we still when we slow the frame rate down we can see that they're both they when once they cohese they both rate rotate the same direction right. and that's what's happening here you're starting to see a it's a twice the size twice the illumination and you'll see at times you'll see uh in the cloud there these are all clouds you'll see that there's reflected light blue red off to the sides as this thing is rotating so it's lighting up other areas of the sky it's not in just one direction like headlights it's 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 about it's around the object in 360 degrees um which is just of course just above the just above the uh the aircraft now or, or whatever this thing is uh the object the, the other thing is to consider is that these cloud layers have a cloud base height of of, of uh 2000 feet you know so doing triangulation based on the angle that we're looking at um the object was was no more than maybe um, you know 500 meters from where we where we were, 